Welcome back. We're talking with our next guest about spring cleaning and spring break. Both topics led to questions for Steel Advice columnist Mary Ann Wellner. Hi, Mary Ann. Good morning. This is a very busy time. I think people are kind of rearing to go. They want to get out. They want to do. And so our first question is about spring cleaning. Someone wrote to you and said, I heard donation centers are overwhelmed. I want to spring clean, but need advice on what to do with the worn out things. Is it unreasonable to want organized closets in a clean garage? So there's a couple things going on here. Yes, the donation centers are overwhelmed, but that is a poor excuse to live in your own mess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> However, no one wants um, your old stuff, so you have to sort and organize yourself. And the very nice things that can be resold at one of the thrift shops, I don't think you bundle them up and put them in a green bag and take them. I think you treat them with some respect. Um, put them on hangers and plastic bags and take those in one separate load to the Goodwill or St. Vincent de Paul where you know they're going to be resold and mm -hmm. um, re reused, reused by someone. Rotten, old, awful things that you won't wear yourself, you can't expect someone else to wear. Right. So they go in the green bag, and the, um, the veterans will come and take anything in the green bag. They're repurposed into rags, into um, pet beds, and so you're not just throwing things away. But have a heart. If you don't want to sort it, you can't imagine another person would, would sort want it. to do that. Yeah, I that's think that's good advice. good advice too. And I think a lot of people forget to call the veterans for stuff like that because they will come and actually take pick it up. Anything. Right. And I took a load um, to the Goodwill recently, and I had it all in a bag. And they're just out in the air tossing things. And right. Oh, that was I almost I wore that last week. You know. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. So you have to treat them with respect and they'll resell them for you. All right, this, this is another good question that came in. Should we give permission and money to our 19 year old son for a Florida spring break? What, what, what do you think about that Marianne? I believe as the mother of several children <laughs> <laughs> that you do this on a case by case uh -huh. basis. Okay. Your 19 year old could be a freshman in college who wants you to say no and then that's his excuse to get off the hook with his friends. That's why he's asking mm. for your permission. So sit down with him. Um, as an aside, I've never heard of college student going from this area to Florida twice on a spring break. It's not that much fun. Mm -hmm. But sit down and talk about who's driving. Are they insured? Are you going to stop? Driving straight through to right. Florida is miserable. Where are you staying? And and if you feel he's not sure about it, then maybe say no, and then he can say to the friends, I can't go. Give right. him the escape. Yeah. Right. Yes. Um, do most eighth graders go on an overnight school trip to Washington, D.C.? <laughs> they do today. When my children were young, they did not. Did either of you go on an eighth grade trip? I don't think that we well, ever we went We went to overnight. Washington, D.C., but it was not overnight. It, it was, was just, just a, a very drive. long mm -hmm. bus ride. Okay, yeah. well, now, now they go for several days. Some of them even have a dance at the end, and tour companies run these events. It's, it's quite a wonderful rite of passage. And when you think of it, everyone's sending their child to school a little bit later. So when you're in the eighth grade, you're more or less 14 years old, getting ready to start high school. So right. it's, it's a wonderful thing to do, as well as learn about the country's history. And maybe good for the parents, too, to kind of let go. Let go it's a, a little transition. Bit. Right, exactly. Always good advice. Thank you so much. Uh, Steel advice columnist Marianne Wellner, thanks for being here. Thank you, David.